Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you one step that you absolutely have to do to finish your shop setup in order to get your products to be seen in the marketplace. And this step is something that's really easy to kind of forget about and go blind to. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do and I'll tell you exactly why at the end of the video. So I'm in the back end of my dummy account on Zazzle and I'm just gonna click on my shop. And then right here on the right hand side here, you can see the store completion 45%. So you absolutely need to add the profile picture and your banner. And I have templates for exactly what size all of those different images are on Zazzle. If you want to grab that, it's available for free and I'll link that in the description. Really quickly, I have the store logo. Let's add the shop banner. You're gonna go to settings and add a shop banner in and then hit submit. And now what else needs to be done here? We need to create 10 collections. We need to share 10 products. We need to share 10 collections on social media. And then we also need to upload 10 media items. So I'm just gonna upload 10 items. Like it's not really too important for my dummy shop. It's important for you, but for my dummy shop, I, this is just show and tell, so it's not too important. For your upload media, I would up, if I were you, I would upload product mockups. That's the best thing to upload here, in my opinion, or if you have like behind the scenes of you doing art or something like that, that would be good too. Otherwise, just upload some product mockups. But for the sake of this video, I'm just uploading some images that I have just to get the store complete. Okay, so that's my 10 media images. Now what else needs to be done? I need to create 10 collections. How many do I have? I have one, two, three collections. This part I find is like a little bit time consuming. Now it's up to you when you're creating these collections, if you want these to be your actual shop collections, or if you just want to get these up and focus more on like refining your collections later on. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm, I'm just doing some quick ones because this is just like my dummy shop that doesn't really matter. <laughs> And then when you've created the collections and put things in them, you want to share them on social media. Under this connect and promote section on the right hand side, I usually just click the Pinterest button and share to Pinterest. So we'll just do that. Sometimes to create the 10 collections, I like to just right click and hit open a new tab and I do that 10 times so that I can just go from one tab to the other and I like just fill out those tabs. To me, this is a bit of a process and I kind of hate doing it, but it's one of those things that just has to be done in order for our shop to be considered complete. Thank you. 
Okay, one last thing to do, and it's just sharing 10 products on social media. I do find with the media one, the upload 10 media items, sometimes that takes a while to like really see your 10 media items. So upload your 10 media items and then go do the other things because that'll take a minute to like see that your media items have actually been uploaded. Excellent. And now if you go into the front end, it still says the 10 media items. Interesting. So for whatever reason, my media items don't seem to want to upload just yet, but they are in there and I will have 100% store completion when that refreshes. And the reason that we want to do this is because when you have 100% store completion, that's when, when Zazzle bumps your Z rank from a three, as you can see on the screen, my Z rank is three. And then once that store completion is done, and it might take another 24 hours or so after that, your Z rank should get bumped up to four. And then let's look here. If you click on Z rank at the bottom here, it says there are also a few added benefits for your store on Zazzle. Your store will appear and have preference as suggested search results when searching and your store will appear and have preference in the creator store search filter. The links which appear in the left-hand navigation bar for narrowing results in marketplace search. And there's a star if you see the, there are a few added benefits. There's a little asterisk for your store on Zazzle. And if you go down to this asterisk, it says your store must have a Z rank of four or above to have these features enabled. So essentially, if you haven't finished completing your store and don't have a Z rank of four or higher, your products aren't gonna show up in the marketplace. They might still show up, but they're not gonna have preference. So even if they do show up, they're gonna be really, really low in the search results. So make sure that you get this store completion done. So I'm actually guilty of going blind to the shop completion myself. And last year I created a kind of like a case study shop and I did one product type in the shop and I made about 115 designs and I was looking at it. I've been looking at it like every month or so checking views and things like that. But I've been wondering why it hasn't gotten any views. Like it was a product type that I have never really created before. And so I, it was just like a test to see how it would do. But I was a little bit surprised that it hadn't made any views. And then I was looking at it last night and I realized I never finished shop completion. So my Z rank was still at three. And so I fixed that all last night and this is why I'm making this video today. And I'm very curious to see how that shop does over the next year. So I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on that shop. I just wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'm coming out with more Zazzle content regularly and I have a lot of exciting things coming down the pipeline. So make sure you're subscribed.